Hey yo, so with the 2024 season just a matter of hours away from starting at this particular rate, we're, we might see some moments throughout the season where we're going to see some awful driving. Today we're going to be looking back at some of the most awful driving in NASCAR history. Not the most awful, but just moments where just a, a driver's, you know, could have been better by the way a couple things before we do get started obviously this video was created by kkb the original video and creator will be down in the description below also you'll find down there that i now have a beacons link that has all my social media from twitch to twitter to instagram you name it even gamers talk nascar which i do believe by the time that this by this video by the time that this video drops if i can actually say it the first episode of the 2024 season should be out right now exclusively on spotify be sure to go check it out be sure to follow gamers talk nascar on spotify so that you do not miss a future episode the link to the beacon is down in the description without further ado let's get started so that puts mcdowell and bain oh michael spun on the back and michael crash down the back no yeah this was really really oh tough to happened? watch the caution is out. this is just tough to go. because that's a huge break for all these Mikey's drivers. just really wanted to be in the race, and then and this happens. He's down on the apron. Like, look, he's carrying he's way to too much speed on the apron, and just when he came up on the, racetrack, the, the transition between the apron and the banking. Obviously, for those that wouldn't know, it's Darryl, it's it not pleasant. Like maybe again, we know he's desperate. He's trying to get back up to speed. Did he jump up on the apron too quick? Uh, well, I don't know about too quick, but that transition from the apron up on the race. That was just not. That's, that's hard. I mean, that's hard. That was a do. poor, poor transition, just, uh, though. With, the, with picking up debris on his hot tires, he didn't change tires. The car just spun out. I remember. All right, I truck series looks like 2011. Looked like he had the lead that no one was. Oh, Travis, Travis Cromwell involved in this one. He gets second yeah. place. See, I can see, I can see this because I think in this one, Quapple's tire went down, so I think he was just trying to get out of the way. But if you, but if you know that you have a tire going down, why would you stay on the racetrack? And two, if the tire actually did go down, why would you cut? Unless if you were trying to go up, like up against the wall and signal everybody to go by you then i mean that is potentially true but it just i think it more so depends on which tire went down first but i think if i remember correctly it might have been one of the rear tires again, again just watch the yellow truck there this is the aftermath everything happening in front of them they're checking oh out. man oh, my gosh. Donnie got in the back of oh yeah no this is the poor driving donnie newenberger so I take back what I said on Quapple, but yeah, Donnie Neuenberger, man, <laughs> just was just a bulldozer here. Like, look at that. They would have missed that wreck if it weren't for Neuenberger in the 07. He just pushed him. He came in there wide open and just about, just about got all the That's some ARCA driving there. All right, let's have a look 2014 Bristol. There's Timmy Hill right at the start and finish line. I think I've seen this before. Way up here. I mean, he's going down. Oh yeah, Timmy. He's the wreck. No problem. Forty-one slows down. The leader, Matt, slows down. Everything's no, good. No, Timmy, then, dude, bam, what are you doing? Throw right up under him. I know this was ten years ago, now, dude. We'll I feel old, by the way. Speed. Like, dude, cars, what are you the doing? Line is already on. You can you can see right there. And Hill, fifteen miles an hour faster than Kenseth. He's on the brakes, but. Nowhere near enough. You know who else nah. got some trouble here? Maybe the one car, a big piece of the rear. Wonder if his just bar, if his uh, brake if his brakes just Kansas car quit working. And, uh, McMurray ran over it. I don't know if it did any damage or not, but he did run over it. Oh, oh I've seen. Uh, yeah. A problem for Ty Gibbs. This is in the front. This this oh, wow. is Straight interesting here. The Shelton chicane. I heard the crowd yes. in the background, and I, I So at sure first I thought oh, he did something oh, to Luigi. Ty Gibbs did, but no. But no, Jesse Wuji, I don't I'm not sure what was happening there. I don't know what would have happened there, but it that's just really weird. For Jesse. 
That's still Jesse really weird. Down. Yeah, completely um, just down, running overshot yeah, it. Just, we need overshot that right first corner we, we've been under on the pace lap. So there's, there's really no reason for, for Jesse but yeah, no, that, that, that probably was just... Not getting into the leader. <coughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, when I, when I saw Stephen Wallace crash in the nationwide race Saturday night, I've just been waiting to get your reaction to it. Is it possible that young Steven is getting the towel? Oh, oh boy. Sure he is, Bernsey. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> For the 6,327th time, he crashed. <laughs> oh boy, here Let's we take go. A look here. <laughs> No, no listen, yeah, this is that indie IRP rather? That crash happens. Roll it. But you know Steven. <laughs> He's never been a crash. Never been to a crash that he didn't want to be a part of. This one was very tough though. These guys oh, were no. stopped. <laughs> Steven. Man. He literally hit a parked car. Two of them. <laughs> now listen. Afterwards. Man, Stephen Wallace is not getting into turn three at the same time. I spotted him. Said, "Check up, check up, check up." And I, I got in the brakes, and the car got sideways, and it just slid all the way through the corners. Yeah, Stephen Wallace isn't wasn't, it, wasn't a. Away. I don't think he was like a super super terrible is. driver. It's just. <laughs> Steven, it's not just one of those races. You know, <laughs> you can get in so many wrecks. It's just like you can't watch. You can't defend right him anymore. On the back of the screen. Austin you see Mike Wallace was trying to stop. That's Mike Wallace. But just hit Austin Dillon. He was trying. Robbers, Dillon. That was crazy. Man uh, though. I watched a flip in front of me. Made it down pit road. I think I heard, yeah, I was listening 20, to the MRN the broadcast back, when this happened. The, the 42 cuz we worked pretty good together right there. See if I could get anything out But that could have been way worse I though. I looked at my mirror and oh my gosh. That scared the crap out of me. Wally, you referred to it a moment ago. Now this was stupid. I remember watching the highlights of this race when they came out. And this was included. Like, watch this. Set to make their sprint cup debut today. And here's a replay of what happened. Polly Haraka just literally just runs right into the back of Alex Kennedy. Alex Kennedy and Polly Haraka apparently. Yeah. Not watching. Probably watching his tax. I have no idea what he was doing on that. And that not the only problem pre-race. Alright, 2008. Yep, this is this is very infamous. I know what's coming here. I know what's coming up here. Oh no. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. There comes Kyle Chrysalop down. David Rudiman involved. Oh, heavy damage on Oh, Steven heavy Wallace. damage Chevy to Stephen Wallace. Was having such a great run and Kyle Busch has damage on the right front of his Toyota. Yeah, no, dude, like See the intensity level coming yeah. up on these guys. Like like See, this is why right here, but they ran This is this is oh, wow. I, this is definitely the day where people I think just lost a lot of That's respect Kevin for LePage Kevin LePage. Carl Edwards went up this has this up. from this and moment on Kevin LePage just became a meme and probably one of the most hated drivers in NASCAR because of this. Oh my gosh, dude. Can you imagine just being in Kevin LePage's position? Like, literally, all that happens, and every single driver that was involved in that wreck is just so mad at him. And they just go, and he goes in his in his interview, well, then maybe they just need to get new spotters because they can't see that car. They can't see this colorful car. All right. Let's see this. Oh, yeah. Robbie Gordon involved. Yaley involved. Yeah, this is, um... Well, it looks like Gailey decided to come down the into pit lane. Oh yeah. And didn't let everybody behind him know. And yeah, I mean, Quinn Hauf, I think, did something similar in Texas uh, uh, back in 2020. It was similar, but I don't know if it was the exact same way. That was a hard hit here for Robbie Gordon getting involved here, but especially for Mark Martin. I'm glad that he was okay. I mean, Mark went in the wall like, about the worst right into the safer barrier, that though. Was an unbelievably hard blow by that six car. All right, 2009. 
inside he's trying to make this pass. I think oh, no, dude. I think that's Chase Austin. <clears throat> See, I really wish, yeah, Chase Austin, I do, I do understand. He was trying to get off the track, but... You can see he did it in front right of the leaders. Here. here comes the 07 car. Chase Austin right down in front. Just gone from the outside. And that's very unfortunate. Really like, it, it was a good race for the lead right from, from what I... Like, from the looks yeah, of it. He was trying to get out of the way, but obviously put himself right in harm's way. That's pretty much going to do it for this video. want to thank you guys a lot for watching. If you like this, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't just subscribe yet, recommend you do so. And to keep up with some fine content coming out in the near future. And that pretty much does it for me. I'll see you in the next one.